Good morning. I am Hasina from Department of Civil Engineering, Majlis Polytechnic College, Valanjiri. I am here to handle the subject Engineering Graphics. Many of these students have taken Civil Engineering branch due to drawings. Isn't it? Drawing is a universal language and it can be read by anyone. Drawings were used by ancient men to convey their ideas, to express their emotions and also to record their experiences of life. Drawings prepared by engineers are known as engineering drawings. Engineering drawings convey the ideas of any object clearly and accurately in its simplest form and in shortest method regarding its shape, size, color, finish and manufacturing information. For the purpose of communication, every language has to obey its own rules of grammar. Similarly, engineering drawings also have its own rules of grammar. Any error committed by an engineer in his drawings will lead to a lot of confusion to the operator. We are following rules as per BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards. Simply, we can say drawings are the easiest way to communicate. So, it's just introduction to the graphics. For drawing purposes, we have to use various instruments. Those are listed here. Drawing board, drawing sheet, scale, compass, divider, set squares, protractor, T-square, mini dafter and other accessories like drawing pencils, ruling pen or liner, fasteners, sharpener, eraser, drawing brush, template, stencils and finally French curves. So we can go through what are those. Drawing board. Our drawing board having rectangular shape and it is perfectly flat. It is made of well seasoned and good quality timber. It is made up of 4 to 6 number of narrow strips which prevents wrapping. Consider a drawing board in which left edge is the working edge where we are fitting our mini drafter. Drawing board is available in various sizes. Here it is a tabular column which is the standard dimensions of engineers drawing board. Four sizes of drawing boards are available. Their dimensions that is length and width are also given. In case of D0, length is 1500 mm and width is 1000 mm. In case of D1, length is 1000 mm and width is 700 mm. D2, which is the drawing board that we are using. Students are using the drawing board D2 and its dimensions are length 700 mm and width 500 mm and we are also available another drawing board D3 which is having a dimension 500 by 500 length and width are same third column showing the corresponding drawing sheet that we can use on those drawing boards for D0 we can use A0 drawing sheet for D1 we can use a1 drawing sheet for D2 we can use A2 drawing sheet so we are using A2 drawing sheet D0 and D1 drawing boards are used in case of office drawings drawing sheets drawing sheets are available in different quality and different sizes white purpose are we are commonly using it is a tabular column showing five type of drawing sheet and their dimensions are also given. Please note the dimension of A2 drawing sheet which is 420 by 594. Next is scale. It is used to measure or transfer true or relative dimensions of an object. We are having three type of recommended scales. Those are full size, reduction scale, enlargement scale. In case of full size scale, scale is 1 is to 1 
and in case of reduction scale, scale is 1 is to x. And in case of enlargement scale, scale is x is to 1. It is a scale. It is having a length of 15 cm and a breadth or width of 2 cm. So, this 2 cm width and 15 cm length can be easily drawn to our notebook. So, we can use full size scale. It is a stick. It is having 1 cm width and 30 cm length. Okay, when we are drawing this object in our notebook or we are marking the dimensions of this object, we can't able to do it. Because the size is more than our notebook. So, we can reduce the scale. Okay. Then we are using reduced scale that is 1 piece to x. That is the length of this stick is 30 cm. We can represent it as 15 cm. That is why we are using here reduced scale. It is a sharpener. It is having a width of 1 cm and a length of 2 cm. It is a small object. When we are drawing this object in our notebook, it is a small object. So, we can draw the enlarged view. So, we can use enlarged scale. So, full size scale, 1 is to 1. Here, 1 unit length of object is represented by 1 unit length on drawing. Okay, 1 is to 1. Second case is 1 is to 10. Here, 10 unit length of object is represented by 1 unit length on drawing. We have said the example of a stick. Third case is 10 is to 1. 1 unit length of object is represented by 10 unit lengths on the drawing. Here, we set the example of a sharpener. We can draw the enlarged view of the sharpener by increasing the scale. That is, we are said about enlargement scale. So, here it is a tabular column of scale. So, please go through this tabular column and get an idea of scales. Compass. It is a compass. A compass is used for drawing circles or arc of circles. Divider. Divider is used to divide a straight line or curved line into any number of equal parts. And also used to transfer dimension from one part of drawing to another part. And also for setting dimensions from scale to drawings. It is a 30 cm length line. Consider it as a divider. It is actually not a divider, it is a compass. Then by taking 5 cm in this divider, we can cut this line into 6 equal parts. We are taking 5 cm in this divider. So likewise, we can cut this line into 6 equal parts. Here we are having also a line, a blank line. We have to transfer the dimension of this line to this line. Then we can take this dimension like this and it can be transferred here. Okay. So it is the use of a divider. Six squares. Six squares are otherwise known as triangles. These are made up of wood, tin, plastic or celluloid. But most commonly used set squares are made up of transparent plastic. We are having two important type of set squares. One is 30 degree 60 degree set square and second is 45 degree set square. Set squares are used for drawing all straight lines except horizontal lines. It is a 30 degree 60 degree set square. Here, this angle is 30 degree, this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 90 degree. In case of a 45 degree set square, two angles are 45 degree and one angle is 90 degree. That set square is just like a isosceles triangle. Protractor. A protractor is 
made of wood, metal, plastic or celluloids. As Sesquia said, most commonly used protractors are made of transparent plastic. These are flat, circular or semicircular. Here it is semicircular. Graduated to 1 degree divisions and numbered at each 10 degree. Just like 0 degree, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, etc. Up to 180 degree. Graduations are readable from both the ends. From this end and also from this end to here. Okay. Protectors are used for measuring or setting off angles which cannot be done with set squares. By using a protractor, we can divide a circle into any number of equal parts. Okay. Next is T-square. T-squares are used to draw horizontal lines. We have said set squares are used to draw vertical lines. They cannot be used to draw horizontal lines. So, three squares are used for drawing horizontal lines. By combining set squares with T square, we can also draw vertical and inclined lines. Mini drafter, you have heard about it. In a civil engineering student hand, there will be a mini drafter. Okay. Uses of T square, set square, protractor, and scales are combined into a simple mechanism known as mini drafter. In case of a mini drafter, there are two blades or we can say two scales. They are accurately placed at right angles. We can study mini drafter in an another video in detail. We can also study how mini drafter is used. Drawing pencils, they are hexagonal in cross section. 18 grades of pencils are available. Those are listed here 9H, 8H, 7H, 6H, 5H, 4H, 3H, 2H, H, F, HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B and finally 7B. Among these hardest pencil is 9H and softest pencil is 7B. We are commonly using HB pencil, H pencil and 2H pencil. When we are buying drawing pencils, we can view whether they are HB, H or 2H by viewing the outer surface. HB pencil is used for sketching. H pencils are used for outlines, visible lines, finishing, dimensioning and also for lettering and arrows. 2H pencil is used for construction lines, dimension lines, center lines and also used for section lines. We can study various type of lines in an another video. Rolling pen or liner. It is used for drawing straight line and non-circular arc in ink. Paper fasteners. Paper fasteners are used to fix drawing sheets on drawing board. Sharpener. Used to remove wood of pencil. Eraser. Used to remove ink or pencil mark from drawing sheet. Drawing brush. Used for cleaning instruments before use. Template. Used for drawing circles, arcs, ellipses, squares and other polygons. Stencils. Used to write letters and numbers. French curves. Those are used for drawing irregular curves that are neither circles nor circular arcs. So, these all are the various instruments used for drawing purposes. Okay, thank you.